All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rakha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel, and peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, in this lesson, hopefully, is you know quick. Okay, in this lesson, I just wanted to go into the uh, the etymology. Okay, the uh, the meaning of the word woman in the etymology online. All right, because our apostles and elders on down, you know, have always taught you know to go into the words, you know, going to the true meaning of you know the words that we read. Okay, and so let's get uh we're gonna get this word woman in the etymology online. It says an adult female female human late old English. Women, women, plural women, literally woman, alteration of with men, plural wife with men, a woman, a female servant, a compound of with woman plus man, human being in an old English used in reference to both sexes. All right, so the, the whole point. No, it really is where it says a uh, woman, okay, female servant. Okay, so woman comes from with men, which means female servant. All right, that's where woman comes from. All right, and um, that's what the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, ultimately created, you know, woman for. All right, all right, the women were created to serve their husbands. All right, not to, you know, be an independent woman, you know, uh, go to college, you know, whore around in college and then get a diploma and then, you know, be an independent woman. No. All right, no. All right, because the, um, the Heavenly Father created women to serve a man, all right, serve their husbands, okay, and not be rebellious, you know, to the husbands like you see today. All right, our women are, you no. Know, Completely out of control, you know, they're disrespectful, you know, they lack respect for, you know, the uh, the Israelite man. Okay, but this is all what, you know, Esau Eden wants, okay? You know, he's fed that, you know, feminism philosophy in the minds of our uh, woman, all right? And that's why you have the woman, you know, uh, that's why the woman, you know, the so-called black woman, they're against, you know, the Israelite man, the black man, all right? You no, know, they... They don't really like, they don't, they constantly disrespect him. You know, the, the so-called black man, all right? The Israelite man. Okay, so let's get a scriptures to prove that the Heavenly Father created, you know, women to be servants to their husbands, all right? So um, let's get a uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 8, all right? So first Corinthians eleven and eight for them. We could read we could read it in NLT. Let's do that. Alright, so first Corinthians eleven and eight NLT for the for the first man didn't come from woman. Alright. But the first woman came from man. And man was not made for woman, but woman was made for man. Alright, so the whole reason why the woman was created was for the man, all right? The woman was there to be a help me towards the man, starting all the way back, you know, and with Adam and Eve, all right? The whole you no know, point of a woman was created, you know, was to serve, you know, their husbands, okay? Not to be rebellious, not to reject their authority, you know, and be, try and be independent, you no, know, but to be, you know, subjected under their husband's authority and, you know, serve them, all right? Be a help me towards them. Towards the husbands, all right? But, you know, today you see the complete opposite of that, all right? So let's get our first Peter 3. <laughs> and we can get um, first Peter 3 and 5, all right? Let's do it in the NLT. And it says, this is how the holy women of old made themselves beautiful. All right? They trusted the Most High and accepted the authority of their husbands, all right? And this is, you know, true beauty, all right, in a woman, all right? If they 
trust in the Most High and accept you know, the authority of their husbands if they're obedient to their husbands, all right? For six, for instance, Sarah obeyed her husband, Abraham, and called him her master. Okay, so if Abraham was her master, what does that make her? Ooh, a servant, right? Because that's how, you know, that's how you know, things are supposed to be. That's what the Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father created women for. All right, the Heavenly Father created women to be servants unto their husbands. Okay. And it says, you are her daughters when you do what is right without fear of what your husbands might do. So, you know, the woman today, you know, the Israelite woman today, you know, they're the daughters, you know, of uh, Sarah, man. You know, they should look to Sarah, all right, for how they should conduct themselves in this truth, all right? How they con should conduct themselves around their husband, all right? Being obedient to their husbands, all right? But, you know, like I said before, you know, you have the exact ho the exact opposite happening you now today in um, this, this society, man. But, you know, that was the end of the lesson. You know, hopefully, you know, uh, you few brothers, I mean... You brothers and a few sisters out there were edified. All right, and I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom.